Hello and welcome to Melika Queen Cooks. Today we are making together a Tunisian summer stew. It's called mermis. Let's chop some onions because that's the base and get cooking. Cut two red onions and one white onion like this. Three pieces of chicken that I cleaned very well. You can also use any other type of meat, beef, lamb, goat. You can also go vegetarian. I just have chicken and I'm gonna use some chicken. Add some salt and let it simmer until the onion gets all of its water out. So I would say about 10 minutes on medium heat. With this I add one teaspoon of caraway and one teaspoon crushed peppers. I want to show you how the onion is releasing its water. That's what we want. One big teaspoon harissa. This is my second one. About half a teaspoon to me. One big spoon of tomato sauce. Mix and let it simmer another 10 minutes. Add half a teaspoon crushed garlic. For 10 minutes and reaching this stage, you see there is water. I didn't add any. It's from the onion. A little bit from the tomato sauce. When we reach this stage, that's when we add hot water and we add salt to taste. I'm adding the hot water. I would add about two cups. And when it's half cooked, maybe after 25 minutes, 40 minutes, then I will add chickpeas. You don't have a can of chickpeas and you have dry chicks, chickpeas, make sure you prep them at night, you know, let them soak for a whole night in, in the water, rinse them, and then dump them at the beginning when the onions are simmering with the olive oil. Okay, now I'm gonna cover it and let it cook. Let everything cook on medium heat for 45 to 40 minutes until the amount of water gets less than what we poured. This is the other half of the white onion. I cut it thinner and I will put it in the sauce or the stew that is cooking um, when I put the chickpeas and also one green pepper, preferably a hot one. Nine minutes into the 45 minutes. This is how it looks at this point. I will add the white onion that I showed you. And I will add the chickpeas. And the green peppers. I'm gonna put half a can of chickpeas. Of course, you have to rinse it before you put it in. This is half the can and there is a surprise. Look what I found in the chickpeas. Ooh, there's one more. Oh, one more. All right, well, we'll toss it off. Kidney beans. Ha, <laughs> love surprises. Half the can, chickpeas rinsed with three kidney beans. <laughs> These are the hot green peppers that I'm adding and I will add a dash of black pepper. Mix and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Some chopped barley stems. I would say about one quarter of pepper. We're gonna cut green with the pepper. Just parsley and we're gonna mix. Let it cook. 10 minutes. Turn off the heat. When the 10 minutes are over, I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil, and that's it. It's ready. This too is called mermes. Mermes. It's a Tunisian summer stew. It helps with the heat. I hope you try it and you enjoy it. It's ready to serve. And voila! Our murmurs is ready, yummy, and it smells amazing. All we have to do is taste it. We eat it with bread, usually baguette or French bread. 
whatever bread you have is best that it has this like little bit of crunchiness I will toast this bread and enjoy it let's taste it together look how beautiful this too is we have the green color of the pepper and the parsley stems the beautiful purple color you see right here of the red onions and the white onions the chickpeas and the yummy yummy chicken let's taste it I'll show you how tender the chicken is it is super super tender look it falls apart yeah let's taste the chicken mm 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 super yummy it has the sweetness of the onions it absorbed some of the sweetness of the onions and some of the um, spiciness of the harissa super yummy so look how tender the chickpea is look super tender <laughs> let's dig in with the bread bismillah and grab some of those goodiness onions and one chickpea yeah that's a big bite for a hungry person let's taste it it is a beautiful taste the onions are super yummy there's some of the sweetness of the onions also the spices the coriander and the carve i can taste them with the harissa and um, there's a little bit of crunchiness from that last white onion it's not super crunchy it's a tiny bit crunchy and also the crunchiness of the parsley ants i hope you try it until we cook again thank you gracias shukran